Hello, to, welcome back to the Arbitrious YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a cow neckline blouse or dress. You can also adapt it to a dress, but I'll be making a blouse with this. Okay, so the first thing we need, this is going to be an off shoulder dress, uh, off shoulder blouse, sorry. So the first thing we need to do is to draft her basic bodies. And by now I'm sure we know how to do this. So the measurements I'm working with the bust is 38 inches the waist is 30 inches and the hip line also is 38 inches so i've drafted my basic bodies and i added one one inch seam allowance round like this and this is my hand pull. so the neckline i worked with is three inches by three inches the basic neckline and i went down by one inch for my shoulder slope okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut out these basic bodies Okay, so it's cut out now so that we can work on our cow neckline. So on the on the armhole here, I added five half inch allowance for turning this because we cannot leave this as a raw edge. So I'll use this five inch to turn it out. Okay. So after all this, the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure five inches from my armhole down like this. I'll place my tape rule and then try to trace out five inches. Okay. I have five inches here and I'm going to mark it. So this is five inches. I'm trying to see what it is here. Okay, it's around five inches to so. So I'm going to mark the same five inches from my shoulder points. You can do this before cutting out your neckline so that it will be easier for you to mark from here. So I'll make this into a straight line. Okay, so this forms the off shoulder part of the blouse and i'm going to be cutting it up so we have this as our actual pattern now to form the cow neckline on the chest area this is the chest line remember this is the chest line this is the waistline and this is the hip line so on the chest line area i'm going to slash this i'm going to slash the stretch line just to the tip, not cutting completely, and then I'm going to spread it. So to spread this now, I'll be placing a fresh pattern paper on it. Okay, so I'll be placing a fresh paper. I'm using a white paper so that we can see the paper is not long enough. That's why I joined them together with masking tape. So I'll be placing my paper on it like this, and then I'm going to spread it. So I'll hold this the masking tape so that it doesn't shift and then I'm going to spread so when you are spreading it depends on how much you want to spread it but it shouldn't be too much so that your neckline will not be too low so between two to four inches is okay I'll be going with four inches so I'm just going to place my tape rule of four inches here and then I'll use that as a guide to spread it so I have my four inches and then I'll bring my masking tape and then use it to hold it. Okay, so now that we have spread our cow neckline, the next thing now is for me to extend my neckline. Remember, this was her first neckline, the off shoulder neckline. I extend it to the midpoint, to the center front. Remember, this is the center front. So I'll extend it to match up with the center front here, like this, okay? So I'll make this into a straight line so that it can match up accurately with my center front. Okay, so this is our new center front. So after this now, the next thing is for me to try to create a facing for my front neckline because this side will not be left row. So to create the facing, I'm just going to fold this in just the way our facing will go in when we are done with sewing. I'm going to face, I'm going to fold this in now and then trace out my ham hole. I hope you're understanding it. Okay, so once I do this, I'm just going to trace out my ham hole or you can cut directly and then I'm going to cut it off using my scissors okay okay 
so we are done with cutting our ham hole okay so this is where my facing stopped i stopped it around two inches below my chest line measurement here so you have to note that you can mark that or just cut it out so it's stopping around here now i'm going to spread this half and our spacing stops here so at the point where my facing stops using my ruler i'm going to connect it back to my center main center front here in a slanting way okay so from here i'm connecting straight like this and then our pattern is ready so i can cut this out so i'm going to trace out my actual center front and then cut this Okay, I have to can see this so that by the time I finish, this is what my facing on the other side. This is what my facing will look like. So now the front pattern is ready. To cut the back pattern, the back pattern is a very is going to be a very low neckline. So I will not be needing all this part. I'll just be cutting it from my chest line. From this point from my chest and so i'll be using this same pattern what i just need to do is to fold this in to my chest line and then i'm going to place this okay, okay so this becomes my back pattern so i'm just going to place this on my fabric and then cut it out and this is going to serve as my back pattern so now i'm going to bring in my fabric now and then cut out this pattern on my fabric Okay, so I'll be using this dog face brighter satin for my fabric and the fabric will be fold on bias. Okay, it will not be sure it's going to be on bias green as you can. I'm just going to place my fabric in a triangular form like this on bias and then I'm going to bring in my pattern and place on it. Okay, now so I've placed my pattern on my fabric and I'm going to cut it out now. Okay. I hope you can see this is the pattern so I'm cutting it out now okay so I've cut it out now and then I'm going to just notch this place where the shoulder where the arm hole meets so that it will guide me when I'm sewing so I've notched it I'll remove it and then place the pattern on the fabric again on bias the same way I did for the front to cut out the back panel I remember when cutting out the back panel it starts from just the, ch ch the chest line not from the, this neckline part the cow neckline part will not be included in cutting the back panel okay so this is the back now i've placed this on the fabric and i'm going to cut it out i've cut out the back panel also so what i'm left with now is the strap the strap will also be cut on bias so depending on how tiny you want it to be i'll be cutting two inches so that by the time i fold it to sew it will be one inch and by the time I fold, I sew by half inch, it will give me a half inches wide strap. Okay, so I'm putting it on bias like this and then I'm going to be measuring two inches and cut a long strap. Okay, so these are our two strips now and the length of this strip is around 16 inches. Okay, so we have to, now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and then sew it so that I can turn it out before we start sewing our main okay so I've sewn it and trimmed off then I'm going to turn it out to have something like this okay so to sew this now remember I notched where the hand hole meets this is the facing part so I'm just going to tuck one of my my strap inside where the notching stops like this and then I'm going to bring it to match each other and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew it I hope you understand what I'm doing so I'll just sew it like this okay so I've sewn it now and then I'm going to notch it so that I can relax I've notched it then I'm going to turn it out so that I can work on the back bodies also now I can, at this point, you can take it to the ironing table and give it a good price but I'm just going to go ahead and then hang it everything when I'm done because this is a tutorial. So this is what our cow neckline is looking like now. So we'll go over to the back. For the back panel, 
I'm going to put it on fold like this and then from the center back I measure three inches from the center back here mark it and then I'm going to press it up and then notch it so now I'm going to place my strap on it and make sure that it is not it is straightened out it's not bent anywhere then I'm going to place it and then hold it with a pin I'll go over to the other side and then do the same thing straighten out the strap and then place it on the notch and then I'm going to hold it okay so now remember i cannot leave these raw edges like this i'm really cut facing for the front so if you have a bias of this color you can use it to turn it out or you can use your fabric to also cut the bias so i'm going to be placing my fabric on it now and then i'll show it and then use it to turn it out okay so i've turned it out as you can see it is neatly finished now the next thing is just to place them side by side and then shape it so i'm going to be placing the front panel on the back panel and then go and shape it on the side and then hem it at the hemline and the blouse is ready okay, so i've pinned it just take it to the sewing machine sew it by the one one inch and then empty the M line okay so i've hemmed it i uh, sorry i've shaped it with the one one inch allowance that i have and i've hemmed the m line also so i'm going to turn it out now and see what this looks like so when i was doing it i realized that the 16 inches that i used for my strap is kind of too long so i cut off four four inch from each you can see this is around 4 inches so it left me with around 12 inches for this strap because if I maintain the 16 inches I figure that's going to be too low okay so this is what uh, cow neckline looks like now it needs ironing and I'm going to put it up on the mannequin so that we can see how it looks on the mannequin okay so I'm sure with the blast now and this is it on the mannequin you can see this is the cow neckline and it's a belt and like i said you can adapt it to a dress if you want so this is the side of the blouse and this is the back you can see how simple it is to make this and how lovely it is and when drafting please kindly remember that i said that i used 12 inches for my strap and not 16 inches like i earlier mentioned when i was drafting i used 12 inches because 16 inches was going to be too long for me and i don't want it too low okay so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed it kindly like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that i get notified anytime we upload new video see you in the next one bye